The following problem is an example of how to solve a quadratic equation using uh, the quadratic formula. So we write out the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's a formula that you definitely want to commit to me memory as it comes up over and over again in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and uh, Geometry, Pre-Calculus, all the rest of your classes. Um, notice that where the a, b, and c come from is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And it doesn't work unless you have equals 0. So we need to solve our uh, equation we have um, such that it equals 0. So we need to get rid of the negative 4x so that there's 0 on that right side. So we subtract 3x from both sides. I'm going to go ahead and insert that negative 4x in between the x squared and the 6. It can't be added to either one because we've got different variables. x squared and x are different. x and 6 are different. And then that way it looks like we normally do. So but what you really need to remember is that a is what's in front of the x squared, b is in what's in front of the x, and c is the number. So you get a equals 3, b equals negative 4, and c equals 6. So then we go over and we're going to substitute these numbers into our um, quadratic formula. So we get negative, a negative 4, so put negative 4 in for b, plus or minus a negative 4 squared, minus three, uh, 4 times 3 times 6. And that's all over 2 times a, which is 3. So now we go about trying to simplify. So we're going to have x equals, well, negative and negative 4 is positive 4, plus or minus square root of 16, and then this is a minus here, because you've only got one negative there, so it's negative, so it's minus 72 over 6. So when we simplify that inside that square root, we end up with a negative 56. Well, a negative square root is a problem, and we can't, we can't get an answer when you have a negative square root. Okay, it's, it's an imaginary number, something you'll study later on in some other classes, but for now, we consider it bad to have a negative square root. Whenever you have that, then your answer is no real solution. Your solution actually is imaginary, which you'll learn about later on.